Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A coffee cup? Oh, are we going to drink coffee? Well, I do love coffee, but that's not what we're going to do today. What we're going to do Or maybe we're going to drink hot tea. Well, I do like hot tea too, but that's not what we're going to do either. What we're going to do today. Or maybe we're going to drink hot chocolate. Well, now we're not going to drink hot chocolate. It's not Christmas or even winter time. Always be prepared. Ow, brother. Hey friends, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today... We're going to have some fun learning about restoration, the joy of my salvation. The joy of your salvation? What are you talking about? That phrase comes from a fairly popular verse found in Psalm 5112, where it says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. What does that mean? Well, David wrote this psalm. And he was described in the Bible as a man after God's own heart. Sounds like he is someone who knew the joy of the Lord. Oh, he did. But somewhere along the line, he messed up royally, and he sinned terribly. <laughs> Been there, done that. Haven't we all? And so, Sadie, when, when you sin royally, how do you feel? I'd rather not think about it. Um, well, usually sin has a way of messing us up. In fact, it's been said that sin causes the cup of joy to spring a leak. That's an interesting way of putting it. Well, when we first come to know the Lord and ask him into our hearts, that's called being born again or being saved. Also known as salvation, right? Exactly. And when we first get saved and understand what Jesus did for us, we become a new creation in Christ. We are born again and usually our cup at that time is overflowing with joy. I like that feeling. So do I. But when we sin, we separate ourselves from God and it feels horrible. And it doesn't matter how many TV shows or video games we play to take our minds off our sin, we still feel down inside. And that's what David was feeling. Sounds like his cup of joy was drained. And not only that, it was shattered. And in this verse, David was asking God to restore the joy he had when he was first saved. Can God do that? He can. God knows that we all sin, and he doesn't want us to have broken hearts as much as he wants us to have humble hearts that remember we are lost in our sin without it. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call Nailed It, and all we're gonna need is a hammer, a nail, two coffee cups, and a plastic container with some water. Let's pretend that this coffee cup is you. Looks pretty good so far. Yeah, you are good to go. In fact, your life is a life of joy. But like everyone in life, you mess up. You mean I sin? Exactly. We do our best, but sometimes we still fall and sins turns our life upside down like this. And now I want you to take this hammer and try to put a nail through the bottom of the cup. What? Are you crazy? You can't put a nail through a coffee mug. Well, why don't you go ahead and try and see what happens. See, my life is shattered. And that's what happens with sin. It takes our life of joy and shatters it. Man, I don't think any amount of glue is going to fix this thing. You're right, but God can still restore our joy. Remember, he's not trying to destroy us, but he wants to restore us so that he can still use us for his purposes. Well, it's going to be hard to use me like this. You're right. But let's pretend that this container of water is God. 
and we completely lose ourselves in Him. And if we have a humble heart, He can restore us when we sin and still allow us to be used in a great way. Now try putting that nail into this mug. Hey, it worked! You're no longer perfect because you've got a hole in you, but it can be filled by God. If you allow him to put his finger over the hole, you can still hold water. Try it. Hey, you're right! God wants to restore us when we sin, but we need to be humble and surround ourselves with him. And he can still use us even though we're not perfect. So I guess what you're saying is that when I sin, I shouldn't run away from God but run to him? Exactly. God's restoring of our messed up lives is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that even though we may be Christians, we still sometimes sin. And sin can steal the joy from our lives. Exactly. But instead of running and hiding from God when we sin, we should run to Him and He can restore the joy of our salvation and still use us for His purposes. Very good. Now, I was just thinking about my coffee mug filled with hot chocolate. Oh, yeah? Well, it's filled with joy, but it's not overflowing. Um, what did you have in mind? I mean, it can only hold so much hot chocolate, it's going to be up to the brim. That's true, but it can be overflowing with whipped cream. See? <sighs> Gee, Dad, if you wanted some, all you had to do was ask. Uh, uh yeah. We'll see you around. <coughs> Today's episode, as well as our entire series on joy, is sponsored by our good friend Justin at The Joy Box. Oh, how I'm loving The Joy Box. Tell the story again. Well, when Justin was just a kid, his dad started a tradition by duct taping a shoebox shut, and then he cut a slot in the top and called it The Joy Box. And throughout the year, whenever anyone in the family experienced a moment of joy, they would write it down and fold it up and put it inside the joy box. I love that. And then at Christmas, they would open the box and share stories of joy. What a great family tradition. And now he's developed that idea into an app called the joy box. You can set it up with family, friends, coworkers, whoever you want. You determine the group and the date. It could be Christmas, a birthday, or an anniversary. And that's when you open it and share the joy. So cool. And the other things I like is that you can go to the daily posts on the app and answer the question for the day. For example, today says, if you could be a contestant on any game show, which would it be? Does Family Moments count? Uh, Family Moments is not a game show. Eh, whatever, I'll do it anyway. Well, that was simple. And once I've posted my answer, I can now read everyone else's post for the day. Well, that's a lot more positive than just mindlessly scrolling through almost anything else on social media that they have to offer. You got that right. And the best part is, it's free. You just go to the App Store and download your Joy Box today. And while you're at it, request me and Sadie to be part of your friend group. We'd love to be inspired by your daily doses of joy. You can find out more about the Joy Box by clicking the link in the description below. And if you'd like to possibly sponsor an episode or a series of Family Moments episodes, drop us a note at contact at familymomentsfun.com. We'd love to talk to you about the possibility of partnering with us as we teach the truth about what matters most. <laughs>